Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Topps Chrome Logo Fractor. Five box, pick your team number six. All card chip, you got a chance at a Logo Fractor box as well. So, big thanks to this group. Sorry, I forgot to silence my phone. All right, big thanks to this group for getting in on it. Thanks everyone for getting in. Joe with the Cardinals. Good luck everybody. Is there anyone you think the Dodgers need to go after this offseason? Well, Dodgers aren't in the offseason yet, Rex. I'm not thinking about that. We'll find out after this World Series what the Dodgers need in the offseason. Good luck, everybody. There's a Jackson Holiday rookie card. Nice. That's for the Orioles. That's for Joe. Corey, nice. Thank you. Yeah, we've got tons of baseball on the website. Jaspiescasebreaks.com if you want to help us out anywhere. There's the link to the baseball section, everybody. There are your logo fractors. There's Kyle Shorber to 250 for the Phillies. That's going to be for Joe. And we got an autograph behind Christian Yelich. It's Ronnie Maurizio. Rookie Otto, 12 out of 150 for the Mets. That's going to be for David M. in the Mets. Nice. The autos are kind of few and far between in these logo fractor boxes. And we got another Philly, Zach Wheeler, 101 out of 150. That's going to be for Joe and the Fighting Phils. Gets the Schwarber and the Wheeler. And there's Matt Olson and Cody Bellinger. All right, another box. I can tell you one thing about the Dodgers just plans in the future. They've got a lot of young prospects coming up the ranks that are within a season or two of maybe having to graduate, you know, maybe having to, you know, get a shot at the majors that it will probably age out and of triple A, double A, and not really have anything more to learn at that stage. So the Dodgers kind of have to figure out what they need to do with those youngsters. I wonder, in the next couple seasons, they may be a little bit more active in the trade market. I wouldn't surprise me if they do kind of some moves around the edges there. Here's Junior Caminero, rookie card for the Rays. That'll be for Brandon. All right, your logo fractors. There is a Jackson Merrill. Nice. Green logo fractor. Six out of 99. That's going to be Padres. That's Adam Copperman. There you go, Adam. Nice.
It's the kind of stuff we want to see out of these logo fractor boxes. And there's Paul Goldschmidt, 64 out of 199. Sup, Terry? Are the Dodgers going to wrap it up tonight? I hope so. I feel better about tonight than I did with a bullpen game like yesterday. thinking that we, we might see you know game one Garrett Cole Jack Flaherty there was a little bit of a bit of a pitching duel you know and Garrett Cole was certainly looking good Jack Flaherty had a strong start as well I'm not sure if that's gonna be the case for both of those pitchers the, both offenses seeing them second time around I think just like we said last Jack Flaherty start I think the first inning or so is really going to tell us a lot about what Jack Flair, which Jack Flaherty we're going to see. If we kind of see his fastball hitting in that mid-90s range, right, 94, 95, 96, then I think we should get a nice start out of Jack Flaherty. That velocity is like 92, 93. Might be a, a tougher day at the office for Jack Flaherty. But... All that we were we were just looking at the roster. All of the big bullpen arms are available for the Dodgers, so I feel good about that. Logo fractures are JT Real Muto to 199 for the Phillies. Ellie Dela Cruz, nice, and Bryce Harper. That Ellie might be a variation too. The Bryce Harper is going to go to Joe and the Phillies. And another Philly for Joe, JT Real Muto. And who's got the Reds? David. David Millel with the Reds. Nice alley. All right, two more to go. Yeah, I'm definitely a little nervous too. Every World Series game, I'm nervous, but but yeah, that Mets start. I think he was a little under the weather. I mean, today, a game like this, obviously the Dodgers' offense has to step up, but it, but um. But, you know, this is going to be kind of a game where Dave Roberts kind of makes his paycheck, right? Nice. That Ellie Nate saying is about 180 to 225. There you go, David. But I think this is where Dave Roberts maybe uh, earns his paycheck, right? You know, is he going to pull Jack Flaherty too early or too late? How is he managing that bullpen? You know? I mean, the hitters got to do their thing, but but there's also going to be a little bit of pitching management that Dave Roberts has to has to sort out. All right, logo fractors. Is he some gold in there? All right. There is Nick Gonzalez, logo fractor green. 86 out of 99. Really like that logo fracture pattern. Looks really sharp. Joe has, no, check that. David has the Pirates. No, Corey says no, they're not going to wrap it up tonight. Corey's a Yankees guy, it sounds like. There's Austin Wells. And Shota Imanaga for the Cubs. Eric with the Cubs. Future stars. I thought that might have been, maybe I got fooled by that little bit of gold right there. But still going to the Cubs. Here's Aaron Judge. Nice. 110 out of 199. So this is part of that logo fractor or the uh, 
MVP buyback. Yankees, Joe Lawson. Emerson Hancock and Sal Freelich. Nice. All right, final locks. Yeah, exactly. Yamamoto, game six. Well, and the bullpen has a travel day. They got so all hands on deck for the bullpen. And with the home crowd. I think Fernando Valenzuela's birthday is on game six. Jason Dominguez rookie card for the Yanks. That's going to be for Joe. And here come your logo fractors. Nice Jackson Churio and Bobby Wood Jr. 144 out of 150. Joe Lawson and the Royals. Nice Jackson Churio future stars. Logo Fractor for Adam and the Brew Crew. Key Brian Hayes to 199 for David and the Pirates. Andre Lipsius and Colt Keith close things out. There you go. That's the break. Thanks, everybody. All right, now let's see who's going to win that Logo Fractor box. Let's flip back to the list, or actually, let's flip back to the description. So basically, if you bought at least an even number of teams, half of that number become entries for a Logo Fractor box. So let's gather everybody's names, alphabetize them by your first name. So yes, if you won your way in, that still counts as well. So Adam ended up with six teams. That's three entries. Brandon got three. Two count for the promo, that's an entry. David M won six, that's three entries. Eric just got one, Jeff just got one. There's Joe with seven teams, that's three entries. Matt Arnold, four teams, two entries, and Nathan got two teams, that's an entry. All right, so let's just spot check everybody's names here. I got Adam, it's three, got Brandon, got David, David's three, Joe, six, count for the promo, that's still three, Matt's two, and Nathan, all right. All right, good luck. This is for the Logo Fracture Box. Name on top, after, it's about $150 value. Four and a three, seven times. Name on top, Logo Fracture Box. We'll send it to you sealed. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there you go, Adam Copperman. Nice break for you, congrats. We'll send a uh, sealed Logo Fracture Box. We're getting more this week, so. We'll pop open one of those cases, we'll pull out a Logo Fractor box, and we'll send that out to you. There you go, congrats. There you go, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with me. I'll see you next time for the next one, bye-bye.